Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have, um, I think it's called an, a book unhaul. Um, if you don't know what that is, basically I am showing you the books that I will be uh, getting rid of uh, from my uh, little library. Um, not because that I didn't like them or anything like that, but just because um, they're books that I know I'm not really going to keep and read again. Um, so I uh, just want to show you a few of those and just, uh, you know, you get to see what I uh, had to read. So the first book is The Remains of the Day by uh, Kazuo Ishiguro. Um, this is a fantastic book. Um, now all of these I'm showing you I had to read for um, uh, my novel writing class. Um, and this was the first one that we read and it is honestly just like really amazing and I would think this wouldn't be my type of book um, because basically it's about this uh, British butler um, who is going on a little vacation and at first glance that sounds really boring um, but honestly just the emotions and the you know, inner journey that happens uh, within this book is so captivating. Um, the voice of the butler, um, Stevens, is just so... It's so good. It's so, like, genuine and very clear. And I just... I would highly recommend if you want, like, a... I don't know if this would be considered like a classic or not, but uh, if you want just like something different that's not in like your usual, um, you know, stuff you read, um, I highly recommend uh, The Remains of the Day. Um, it is a fantastic book. Okay, and the next one is one that probably nearly everyone knows, and that is uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, oh, I can't say anything about this book that hasn't already been said. Um, it is incredibly funny, um, and engaging, and, you know, there, I remember there's one scene in particular, and it's just at the beginning where uh, basically it's announced that the apocalypse is going to happen, or that the world is going to end. Um, and that moment before the world ends, basically, uh, was one of the most, like, awing and chilling moments I've read in a book. Like, and it's so weird because this book is hilarious. But at the same time, that scene just gave me chills because it's so, it was so like real and just very, just very, um, like I felt the suspense during that scene. Um, and of course, uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here that uh, is really enjoyable and hilarious and all that good stuff. So, I uh, highly recommend this book if you would like to have a good laugh and also maybe have a little existential crisis. And the third one that uh, we have here is Cat's Eye by Margaret Atwood. Um, now, Margaret Atwood obviously is a very famous author. Um, and far be it from me to say that, uh, you know, something of hers was not good, which is definitely not what I'm saying. Uh, this book is written fantastically. Uh, the main character, um, the story, everything is, everything is great and has its own voice. It has, you know, just this very real existentialism within it uh, that just really speaks to me. Um, and that's why I was really surprised that I couldn't like really get into this book, um, even though I read it. Like I still found I found it uh, difficult to really dig in and get into the story, you know. Um, and I didn't know if that was because um, I felt that um, it was a bit mundane in a lot of places. There's just like a lot of stuff that, uh, 
is just endlessly described and it, it just kind of goes on and on and on until you're at a point where you're just like okay can we get on with the main story um but at the same time i know that that's probably the point because it's from mostly the point of view of uh, a little a little girl like a i want to say like middle school age um most of the book is in that perspective and the rest of the book is in that is in that older woman uh, perspective um so i guess like there's like how um a child would see things and just the way that every little detail is described and thoroughly picked apart um which believe me i love detail and i love you know describing everything in sight um i do love setting the scene like that um but for some reason uh for this book in particular i just couldn't like get into it um but that is not to say that it's not a great book it is a great book and i think like if you that if this is your type of thing like it's postmodern, it's um you know very detailed it's very like there's not like a lot of action happening and at the same time there's so much happening um so if that is your kind of book i definitely recommend uh cat's eye and then finally we have my favorite of the books that i will be unfortunately uh parting with and that is recursion by blake crouch um i loved this book um i cannot um describe to you how much i enjoyed reading recurrent um it's from the very beginning the idea of this disease or something that takes away memories um or that gives or that actually gives you new memories um, and people are remembering lives that they didn't lead. Um, it was so, it was just grabbed me, like, right from the start. Um, and of course, I, I fell in love with the characters, um, because they just both, they both had, you know, clear backstories, they both had reasons for what they were doing, um, and especially towards the last half of the book, um, things get really intense, and I love the character's relationship, and I love that sort of dynamic, um, and just the whole idea of this suspense of, you know, what's going on, um, and I really enjoyed the the explanation and the realization and the twists and all that sort of stuff. It was, um, it's written in this very pithy kind of style. Um, you know, it's, it's very like, you know, hard and fast, quick. Um, and I love that about this. It was, it worked so well for this genre of book. It really, there were some incredibly you know heartbreaking moments of this as well um and i think it really speaks to like you know the futility of wanting to go back and change the past um and i thought that was a really good message like in, in the end it was a really it had a really great message which not all books have to have a message but i think this one did um just about accepting the life that you lead and um just doing your best with what you're given um and that is um my philosophy uh, in life so i really enjoyed i really 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 loved this book recursion by blake crouch i highly recommend it if you are into like thrillers and uh like it says on the cover right here a mind-bending thriller um, and I, I definitely uh, agree with that so I definitely recommend this book if you are into uh, thrillers and you are into uh, things that are kind of science fiction-y but not um, but anyway yeah it's it's a great book I highly recommend it you should go get it
And yes, that is all the books that I'm going to be parting with, unfortunately. I don't know where they're going to go yet. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to send them off to Goodwill or, you know, maybe go to Second and Charles and trade them off. Um, but, you know, like I said, all of these I had to read for my novel writing class. Um, and I've kind of grown attached to them. Like, I'm kind of like... I don't know, it, it seems really sad to part with them, but uh, you know, I just know I'm probably not gonna read these again, and I have the audiobook of some of these anyway, so I'm just gonna keep that. Um, but once again, thank you for joining me, and I hope that you really enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and do all those fun YouTube things, um, and just thank you for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video. Bye!